It's been nearly three weeks since Kevin McCarthy was ousted as Speaker of the House, and Republicans appear no closer to selecting his replacement. The House GOP conference voted to drop Jim Jordan on Friday. They're going to start over at Square Run tomorrow. Joining me now to game out the odds is former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich. Um, all right, good to see you, sir. What is your advice uh, as Republicans are increasingly taking heat on all sides about looking like they can't govern, even themselves? Well, right now they can't govern, and I think that the eight people who betrayed the conference and joined the Democrats to defeat 96 percent of the conference unleashed furies that I don't think they'd even dreamed of because they gave every person the right to be equally destructive and equally angry. Uh, and now it's a mess. Um, I got just a couple of observations. First, they should have stayed in. When they get back here, they should stay in. They should go into a conference, not come out, uh, bring food in and stay there. A very simple test. Can you get 217 votes? They shouldn't bring anybody out until they have 217. And second, that 217 has to be committed not just to elect a speaker, but to stick together for the next five or six months. They got big decisions coming down the road. There's a very real danger that they'll elect somebody in three or four or five weeks from now. Uh, you're going to have a group of people blow up and decide to go back into the same mess. So they need to pick somebody to get stability. I, I frankly wish that they, and Calista and I have talked about this, I wish they had uh, a woman candidate out of all the candidates they've got running, you know, so, somebody like um, Elise Stefanik or Beth Van Dyne, uh, who, who had been a mayor of a city before becoming a congressman. I, I think in some ways, given the level of rowdiness and the level of juvenile behavior, uh, it's conceivable that a female speaker uh, would be more effective in actually getting them all to get together and stick together. Mm. That's the key. They have to learn to stick together. Well, it may get to that point. We've got seven now. Um, none of the ones that you mentioned are the potential female contenders there. But do you think any of the ones who are in, or if there's another name you can think of on the Hill, can actually get to 217? Because it seems to be if the, if the person's too conservative, you're going to lose the moderates. If they are too, you know, uh, somebody that's looking like, like Kevin McCarthy did, like that he's going to work with Democrats on things and, and he's too far to the middle, you've got the extreme who say, I may no vote right. forever and ever. Look, I, I would do a very simple test. Get them all in the same room, as I said earlier. Bring food in. Have an occasional bathroom break. Uh, and uh, as, if it lasts long enough, uh, as Byron Daniel said, you know, have, have a, a, an hour off to go shower. But otherwise, stay together uh, and keep meeting and keep talking. And I'd work backwards. I would do a whip check and say, uh, who could possibly get 217? I don't care who they are. They don't have to be candidates right now. That could be the, the least, the most surprising person. If they can get 217 and they can keep 217, make them speaker. Uh, they've tried the other technique, which is to find a personality, have them get a majority of the conference, walk onto the floor of the House and get beat. Well, the only number that matters here is 217. If you can't get it and keep it, remember, it's not just one day. If you can't keep it through the end of this year and make very tough decisions, and have the conference say, you know, I don't necessarily like all of them, but it's what we have to do to govern. Uh, you know, I, I wrote a book called March to the Majority where we described how we created a majority after 40 years, how we got it reelected for the first time since 1928, how we balanced the budget for four straight years, the only time in your lifetime. There are a lot of lessons these guys have to learn. And right now they're so angry and they're so dysfunctional, they can't just play rope-a-dope. They've got to start from, start from victory. Who can get 217? That's the person who ought to be speaker. And trying to start from, let me pick my favorite and see if they can then get 217. You could be here for weeks. The, the record in 1856 was two months and 103 ballots. I would urge the House Republicans not to try to break that record. Well, uh, if they're trapped in there with their food and limited potty breaks, then maybe they will have time to read your book and consider that as well. Um, former Speaker Newt Gingrich, thank you thank for you. dropping in. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.